Hi! <laughs> G'day and welcome to the channel. My family and I love building and testing some of the coolest setups around. Some old classics, what? modern day drill caps and everything else hey. in between. So come along and join the family on Graham Harris Four Wheel Drive Adventures. G'day guys and girls and welcome back to the channel. Sorry it's been a little bit. We um we've had a bit of a bit of a drama. The old miss has decided to throw herself off of a horse and break herself into a few pieces and, and um so she's been out of action. We haven't been able to film much lately. Um but we're out here today, we've got the little Mahindra sitting over there in the paddock. And we've got the little shorty. We're just doing some basic, simple four-wheel drive tips for you guys today. Um, wheel placement just to show you don't have to have big jacked up bloody vehicle and belt through the bush at 400 mile an hour to have a little bit of fun so we got the little shorty young fellas in him hubs are turned in we're just going to go down through this bit of a drop off shaley rock in it wash out here and we'll just see if we can just poke him up here nice and steady and get him up so we'll give him a go Nice and steady, mate. Right, into him. Right, right. right, as you can see, hitting square on, um, and that's a pretty steep bank that he's got to try and climb. Isn't doing much chop. He'll just sit there and belt up against the all day. So just rattle him back a bit, please, Brocky. Keep going. All right, whoop. Now, left hand down, and I want to try and put his wheel just up on here to give that bit of flex to give that drive up there. See how he goes with that. You can see straight away that front wheel just giving that little bit extra grip on that side. And they're all-terrain tyres too, they're not the best mud tyres or anything. But you can see how he's just popped up over there. Um, a lot less fuss and crawl his way up. He has got his right rear in here now. Um, just come back a little bit, Brocky. Just get him up on top of there. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. That'll do. Now you've got to give him a bit of a bump up over there, Brocky, just to get him up on top of that tree root. Right on, give it to him. And it's as simple as that. Just that little bit of a bump up the top there. And he worked perfectly. Well done, kiddo, well, well done. When you are up, make sure you grab your seatbelt Yeah, on. put your seatbelt on. Um, especially this little short fella, you get chucked from left side, left side, eh? Hey? It's uh, all over the place. But we'll bring him around here and we'll give him a go downhill now. Right, eh? We're going to nose the little cruiser down this embankment now. And uh, this, because this thing doesn't have hill descent control or anything else like that, he will have to use the brakes. We've got some pretty gnarly rock in here as well. Uh, it is a pretty steep little angle, wash out on one side of him. So just nice and steady, Brocky, nice and steady. Nice and steady, walking down on low range. That's it. Turn him around and go back up at close. It's a little bit soft down in the bottom here too. But 
you can see it didn't lock up much it grabbed here where it pushed in the softer sand a little bit there but it walked down pretty easily try and keep your wheel straight when you're four-wheel driving and everything goes a little bit better than trying to get all crossed up Alright oh, no, Brocky, just sneak him up to the bottom and give him a little bit of a punch. You'll need to keep that throttle constant all the way up here. Right up, pull up. As you can see, that front tire is letting him down a little bit there on that traction. He's probably up against something pretty hard here too, so take him back. Keep going. A fair bit of grass on this too, so you'll just have to hit him with a bit more pace to keep that momentum up the hill. So you can come this way slightly off that wheel line, mate. Right uh, into him. Now come back. Hit him a bit harder than that, mate. front wheels are just getting up on that grass here on the left yeah, and just sliding on the grass so you need to punch him so he gets up over the top of that a yeah yeah. Yes. yeah have faith in the little cruiser Brocken I don't know into him <laughs> you're getting to here and you're buttoning off you need to punch so him yeah Spin. Try him again. Yeah, he's just getting to this little sharp pinch here. If I can get him across this half a tire width onto this, he might crawl up that. So come this way here, Brocky, and put your wheel here. See how he was hitting this lip here and it was hard, it was straight up, full of grass. Come across here where there's a little bit less and she just crawled up there, no worries at all. So it's it's a lot about your wheel placement, where you can put these things. It's not so much the capability of the machine. Um, but a little bit of wheel placement definitely helps you out in certain situations. So we'll try the Mahindra now. Right, we're going to do the same with the Mahindra now. Hubs are all locked in with these little button in the dash. Uh, for you people that don't know where it is, it's point to it. Just as one. That button there in the low range, little green light on the dash. I think you can see it in there. That says he's in low four. And Rocky's just going to creep down through here. The arse of it will drag. And because it's a longer Hang on mate, a longer chassis than the, than the shorty. But once he's through here, I expect that diff lock to just kick in and walk it up through here without a drama. So, right up Brocky. Nice and steady. That's him. Little all-terrain size. Ball bars on. Right, so there was the arc end grabbing. That's a diff lock kicking in. Straight up through there. As you can see it just, it hesitated, the wheel picked up off the ground, diff lock kicked in, that's all that stuff here. Grabbed him and walked him straight up through there. On these little all terrains, so that did all right. Okay, down that hill, same one with the cruiser. Right, uh, we'll do this drop off. Now Brocky hasn't used this button, but there's a hill descent control button down yep. over there, mate. It looked like that a downhill one. slope. Yep. Hold him. Press it or hold it. That's him. Right. So now you've got the hill descent control. This is going to feel weird, kiddo. As soon as you come over, get off the brake. 
don't touch the brake and let it walk down by itself okay it's gonna feel weird compared to the cruiser hang on a sec Ooh. right on mate just let him walk don't touch the brake And that's the hill descent control doing its job there. Alright, oh, no, turn him around. Just walked him down nice and steady, eh? No fuss. Getting a bit puggy down the bottom here. Look at that. It's alright. Have winch, we'll use. Right on, mate. Just. Line him up again. Now this thing hasn't got that low down punch of that little cruiser. So this turbo will have a bit of lag. So what you want to do is just keep keep the momentum up him, keep the revs up him for that turbo. And um, take that left line where the cruiser was getting stuck and uh, put that left wheel up in that grass and just keep that momentum up him. Right on, mate. Give him a go. As you can see, diff lock kicked in. Just walk straight up it. So you don't need a lot in these little Mahindras. Ah, different to the cruiser, wasn't it? Longer wheelbase, I reckon. Longer wheelbase definitely helped. It sort of pushed it up towards it. Yeah, you weren't. You weren't sitting in that rut for long, you know, it just punched over and the rear ones grabbed and pushed him up, but impressive little bloody machine. Right, eh? we're just going to get Brocky to drop his wheel in this wash out, put a little bit of flex in him, nothing serious, and um, come down here. This is super, super slippery, these little marbles on top of this. I'm having trouble standing up. Keep him coming, Brocky. That's him. Right, nice and easy. Have you got that hill descent control pressed in? Right, off the brake and let him walk. That's it cutting him. He's not touching the brakes. And it'll walk all the way down through here. Bit of a stick on that side. Come this way, you got a big stump. Right, mate, go down there and turn around and come back up that bit. nothing too serious for it just shows even on that slippery surface uh, as soon as it clamped up and started modulating that brake system you don't have to touch the brakes in these modern four-wheel drives with hill descent control they'll just walk down this all day so did the job right i will see about the lateral grip on this mahindra now i'm going to get him to come up the side of this it will slide this here is on a Pretty good undulation here. This stuff, like I said, super slippery. The arse will probably kick around. I'm going to try and get up over the top of this. And um, we'll see how he goes through there. And, um, hopefully it don't kick sideways down towards that big ass stump. So that's him. Just keep him walking. Keep him walking. Come this way. This way. Right, punch him. Keep him going, mate. Keep him going. Right, I will up. Right, I will see what's happened here. So he's got his front wheel. Don't you rip that mud flap off now? Front wheel hard on this edge here. So down there. As soon as that one's hitting, that one's trying to climb up over that. So you're just going to have to come back a bit. Just let him come back. Right, I will up. Now you just want to bump him up over the top of that. Get that front wheel up on top there. The diff lock should kick in and hook into that. There's that diff lock. Simple as that. So, once again, look what you've done to me. Hi, Bubba. Once again, you see how capable that little thing is, even on the angle there. Right, Rocky, go park him up, please. 
the fair bit of angle there took all the hard bit through here the twist in it everything else and it walked up there really well it impressed me a lot <laughs> this thing as I can tell you what it's um it's definitely capable as a, as a good bloody farm you, you know you're not doing too much more extreme stuff than this out on the farm the odd washouts and stuff so pretty capable little bloody thing eh Dozer dog, having a bit of a drink, mate. How you going over there, hobbly? Yeah. Right, if you can come here, you're right. Yeah. If you can just stand somewhere here, mm -hmm. try not to get eaten by a snake, <laughs> and um, we'll get Brocky through this. Right, oh, Brocky. So I want him to come down in here, drop over this square edge. Just idling through there, nothing too bad. And up this, and in between those two stumps. So just hit that stump on your right hand side. That's him. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Right, this will take a bit of wheel placement. We're gonna drop him down in this big ass washout. And, um, try and get him through back down to that creek it's pretty washed out we actually dragged the toy hauler through here in one of our test days so keep him straight all right nice and steady that's him walking through Right, uh, same way you're coming up, mate. Oh, come in, sorry. Walking through there nice and steady. That little short approach angle on this cruiser certainly does do it justice. Right, uh, go and grab the Hindra and do the same track. Right, uh, so far you've seen how capable this little Mahindra is. I'll put him in a position here where he's in the wrong spot. He'll lift a wheel and he'll have to stop. We'll go back and reset him and put him in the proper line. But, uh, right, uh, Brocky, bring him straight through, mate. Come this way. Oh, 
Well, it didn't quite lift the wheel, but well, she ramped over there on that side. Just taking back. Keep going all the way. Whoa! Don't hit that tree. Come this way. There's that diff lock. Come this way. Whoa! Just go back more. We'll try and bring him up this, this section here. That's him. There you go. Alright. Whoa. Straight up there again, mate. Left hand down slightly. That's hard to bog this thing. Um, take him back down there again, Brocky, please. We've got to find out how to bog you. <laughs> He's right. Right, uh, he's got a wheel off the ground there. This one's tucked up hard into the... You're right? <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> Taking photos everywhere. So he's all compressed up this side, down that side. And this is where the little shorty had struggled. That front wheel off the ground, you got no drive. Uh, right, uh, Brocky, we'll go hard left hand down. And we'll just get that diff lock to kick in and walk you up that. Right, I might go. Right, I might go and turn him around. You're right, nothing in front of you, except for that big stump. As you can see, it made pretty easy work of that. Uh, I'd really like to see what that thing does with a big chunky mud tire on it. Can't quite fit them under the guards real well. Those extra wide rims certainly don't help, but... Right, put him down the same spot, kiddo. And, uh... We might hop out of here. And, um... Ouch. Yeah, it's a pretty capable little bloody four-wheel drive, I've got to admit. I was going to try and do some winching for you today. I'm not quite sure whether I could do that. Might have another look. Right, we'll get him down here. We'll go on a bit different angle. Keep coming, keep coming. Right, you're about to drop in. Now go that way. Bring him down over there. Just stop there. Troy, you grab that camera, please. And, um,. We've got a few photos of that angle already. Just for one more bash. Because I want him to do it with mum in the car. Ooh. Please don't run over me. Alright, I'll break you. <laughs> so I said, give him more revs, eh? <laughs> Take him back, try him again. Those are bailed out. Yeah, you're right. Go. Let him go. All part of his learning for different vehicles, eh? Like I said, that little shorty. You don't have that worry about the turbo lag in him. He'll just punch up there all day, sort of thing. This, you need to keep those revs up. Otherwise, they'll die down the bum a little bit. So, we'll give him another go. high speed dog see the difference there ain't eh? just a few more revs about him and I mean it's not tap it uh, tap it bouncing the bloody thing but good job kiddo good job a bit different to the cruiser eh yeah very different yeah but um a bit modern <laughs> a bit more modern <laughs> you like the old school stuff eh right anyway that's a wrap guys uh, thanks for watching subscribing and um keeping up with what we've got um we have got another little project going. Don't know exactly which way it's going to go yet, but um, I'll give you a sneak peek of that and uh, see what you reckon. Throw it in the comments what you reckon we should do with it. Cheers.